Who do you think has the upper hand right now? Is it Jerry or Dak? Actually, Dak. Um, and the number one reason is Jerry and the Cowboys have shown every indication that they will cave every time. I go back to the negotiations with other players in the recent past. The star running back, who you drafted fourth overall, Ezekiel Elliott, comes. He's not even up. He can't even, like, sit out the year and become a free agent. He really has no leverage. And Stephen Jones comes out and says, you know what? We are not going to reset the market with Ezekiel Elliott. A week later, within a week, they had reset the market with Ezekiel Elliott, I believe in terms of guaranteed dollars and average annual income. I have to check that. But they just, but they immediately reset the market. They did exactly what they said that they weren't going to do a week later with a guy who didn't have so much leverage. And, and by the way, is not your quarterback. They paid every guy on the team. Everyone got paid on this team, except Dak Prescott, who they started out towing one kind of line and by the end put him right in line with the highest paid quarterbacks in the league and are now scoffing at certain, you know, he wants to be a free agent again after so many years so he can take advantage of a new television contract and all this kind of stuff. That's what they're down to, those kind of details. He folds. That's what he does. And by the way, that may be because, number one, he has a quote in the past saying, Every, all of his best investments, he was told he overpaid for at the time. So Jerry is not a guy who's thinking, I'm going to make my money on the margins. He has a big imagination. He thinks big. And when it comes to these kind of negotiations, eventually he's going to say, what am I doing? I'm not going to be penny wise and pound foolish. That's number one. And number two, I believe he is now the oldest recorded human being on earth. Like Jerry's like 114 years old. He, he, he realizes, it seems, Such that he wants to win. He wants to win another championship. Now, he's a brilliant businessman in the sense that he can keep, he's made a ton of money with the Cowboys, and he can keep their name in the news by doing stuff like this. But ultimately, what does he want his legacy to be? A guy who figured out how to manipulate a salary cap that he invented early on by getting Deion Sanders and squeezing a couple extra championships out and then doing nothing again for 25, 30, 35 years? Or does he want to be one of the all-time great owners? Does he want another championship? The team is built to win now. He will cave. Dak has the leverage. Well, first of all, I think the most important thing in all of this, Max Kellerman, is that you need to mind your manners when you're talking about my buddy Jerry Jones, my Libra brother right there. I think you watch your mind, you mind your manners, you watch your mouth, and you make sure that you conduct yourself and you speak eloquently, yet respectfully. That's my buddy Jerry Jones right there. Watch your mouth. That's number one. Number two, and more importantly, I'm going to say this. I've gotten to a point where I think the leverage really belongs to Jerry Jones at this particular moment in time. Let's analyze this for a second here, Max, with everything that you're saying, obviously, uh, correct about the people that he signed and what have you. Let's remember he, they placed the exclusive franchise tag on Dak Prescott. That's slotting $33 million for him for this upcoming season. It also mandates that they have until July 15th to reach a deal for him. Let's suppose this goes up to the very last day or whatever the case may be. Who's going to sign him? Because nobody else is allowed to sign him. He can't go anywhere else right now. And so as a result of that, you're talking about potentially jeopardizing him next season in the event that you can't reach an agreement with him. You've got the number 17 overall pick in the draft. And for those who will sit up there and say, hell, you got Dak Prescott. He just threw for 4,902 yards, 30 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. He's a two-time pro bowler. He's gotten you to the playoffs twice. He's complete career 65% of his passes, at least three of his first four seasons in the National Football League without having missed a single game and making back page news just because he missed a practice. You could sit up there and say, if you're Jerry Jones, well, that was a fourth-round pick. I got a first rounder here at number 17. Everybody's talking about this kid, Jordan Love, out of Utah State. What if he falls to me? What if he has some potential? What if he shows up early, virtually or otherwise, and really showcases the kind of things that he's capable of doing? Because I've got my reservations about Dak Prescott. I'm saying if Jerry Jones were to say that, even though he would be excoriated by some, Others will sit up there and say, well, hey, Dak Prescott did go 8-8 eight and eight last season and then get you to the playoffs. I'm not of that belief. I believe Dak Prescott deserves his money long term. I'm looking at the number two pass and attack 
in yards, the number one offense in yards. I'm thinking about him being the captain of that ship, spearheading them. I think it's appalling <clears throat> that Jerry Jones took care of Ezekiel Elliott, LaMarcus Lawrence, Jalen Smith, and all of these boys before you even took care of your quarterback. That's insane to me. But now that you've gotten to this point and you've held out for this long and the draft is tomorrow and we've got four quarterbacks projected to fall in the top 20 and Dallas has a top 20 pick, I don't think we can rule out anything in the form of leverage when it comes to the Cowboys and specifically Jerry Jones because Dak Prescott can't go anywhere unless Jerry Jones says you could go somewhere and he's got until July 15th to do it. I think that gives Jerry Jones leverage. The only leverage Jerry Jones has is for two years. So to me, Max, you're right again. I'm going to go with you on this one for sure. No. But you look, this guy's Not in the all. prime of his career, a young player in the prime of his career, and you're not going to take care of him. You took care of Amari Cooper. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.